Hey guys, what's good? Target here and I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe in this crazy time of the world that we're currently living in. I know, I know, it's been a while since you've heard from me, since I've posted anything uh, in my channel. Uh, a lot of things have been going on with my life, a lot of good things have been happening professionally and personally, but, but I finally managed to find the time and the energy to invest in a new City Skyline series, uh, namely uh, the Season 2 of Design and Manage, which is my popular series. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is precisely to speak about that. I thought it would be convenient to do a small informational video to give you some insights about this new series before episode number one um, goes public. So a lot of things are going to remain the change, I'm not going to make any drastic changes. Uh, the series is going to be completely unmodded, so uh, I'm not going to be using any mod. So if you're playing this on a console, you will be able to follow right along, which I believe it's a very good thing. I might install a few custom assets from the Steam Workshop, but uh, from the experience of my previous season, that is probably not going to happen very often. Uh, I might not even use any of them. At least that's my initial plan, but let's see how it goes. There is going to be, however, a huge change in this series, which is I'm planning on making it a much shorter series than uh, Season 1. Uh, season 1 lasted for about one year and a half, and in my opinion that's way too long to be playing on the same CD. I almost went crazy with that CD, because I was playing it for so long. So that's one of the plans for uh, this um, series, is actually to make it shorter. I'm planning it to make it like, I don't know, 40, 50 episodes and make it last it for about, I don't know, 6, 7 months, perhaps even uh, shorter than that. We'll see how it goes. But with this new strategy, I believe I will be able to keep myself invested and motivated into this city and it will also help me to refresh the channel with a new series, which is very good for my channel and I believe it's very good for you guys as well to be seeing new type of content coming in to the channel more frequently. Regarding uploading schedule, last series had a very strict schedule of once a week, uh, videos always being uploaded on the same day, which were Saturday mornings. This time I want to be a bit more flexible. I want to upload more times a week, but I also do not want to compromise with a fixed schedule. Keep in mind guys, I don't do this full-time, I have a full-time job, I'm still working, I'm working from home, but I'm still working full-time, and I also have a family. Both of these I prioritize above anything else, even above my YouTube channel, so please keep that in mind. What's probably going to happen is, for the first few weeks I will upload two, maybe three times a week, and as the city grows and expands and becomes even more detailed, I will reduce the schedule to like once a week, maybe even two if I can handle it, but we'll see how it goes. The map that I will be using it's called Murky Coast, which is the map that was released with the Campus DLC. I still do not have a plan for what type of city that I'm going to make, but that's something that I'm going to figure out as I play. I will be using all the DLCs, uh, all the major ones at least. Uh, including the Campus and also the Sunset Arbor, which are the two DLCs that I had not the chance to play uh, yet, but I'm planning to do so uh, this season. There is, however, another detail that is worth mentioning that I'm changing this series, which is I am not going to be playing with Natural Disasters turned on. Um, natural Disasters is something that can add a lot to the gameplay, but the way I play this game, um, this uh, series in particular, Design and Manage, which is highly focused on management and also on design, I spend like 2-3 hours making an interchange, if not even more, um, Natural Disasters can really harm your experience and I, I believe it didn't add much last season. I think people were much more interested in my designs and in my management capabilities than rather uh, watch me trying to recover from a natural disaster. So that was the main reason that made me decide to um, disable natural disasters for this particular uh, season. 
Another thing that I'm gonna change is that I am also going to disable fire spreading. On my last season I had something going on that actually became a meme I believe, which is I had a lot of forest fires. And this happened because I was placing a lot of trees manually, that's just um, that's my style of playing, I like to decorate everything with trees. And every time a building caught fire, that fire would spread to the nearby trees and would eventually burn an entire uh, section of the city. So that was fun and manageable in the beginning, but um, by the end of the series, by the end game, it was just a pain in the butt. And quite frankly, I do not want to invest my energy and my patience trying to rebuild a huge portion of the city manually and uh, having a huge black spot on the map. That's just, just not. I don't believe it adds anything to the gameplay. So with the new campus DLC, they added this feature that enables you to disable fire spreading and I intend on using it. And finally, just to wrap this up, another change that I will be doing is that I am not going to be naming districts after my subscribers, so after you guys. Uh, this is something that I would do in my uh, previous series. I would actually name um, some of my districts after the people who have been following me and have been leaving a good feedback on the comment section. This was doable because I was such a small uh, fan base. I, I had like... Um, 1000 subscribers, I believe not even that, so it was quite manageable. Uh, but right now, um, I don't think that's going to be possible. Right now, I have a much bigger fan base, or rather, audience. I don't like the word fan base, so yeah, I think I'm going to start this season with a much bigger audience. And if I decided to do this thing again of naming districts after you guys, there would be a lot of people that would be left out. And also it not be very manageable because we're talking about a lot of people. So I believe I could invest my playtime doing something else like building roads and uh, zoning stuff. But yeah guys, I think that was everything that I wanted to tell you about this new series. I believe that's all the information. I hope you're just as excited as me for the start of the new season. Episode number one is coming live on Wednesday. I will be there um, watching the video alongside, so if you have any particular question, make sure to ask it in the chat while the video is playing, and I will be there to answer your questions. I also hope that you're uh, happy with these changes that I've mentioned in this video. I believe these changes are going to be very beneficial for the series and I hope that you think the same way. But let me know what you think. But that's it, time to wrap it up, and I hope to see you on Wednesday for episode number one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.